It is Friday, September the 10th, 2021. We are heading to North Carolina. We're going to stay at a campground there and ride around, spend a week, ride around North Carolina, camp out at the campground. And got Keith with me on his brand new African Twin 2020, just like mine. He picked it up Tuesday from a guy up in Oklahoma. We got to meet with. We're going to meet up with Aaron Sasquatch here in about a couple hours, and going to camp out tonight somewhere around Sardis Lake in Mississippi. So that's the kind of stuff we can find. Nothing like being on your motorcycle during the sunrise. Sunsets are nice too. Temperature is perfect. Uh, the Haven tent slept perfect. Had some coffee this morning, and now we're heading up to uh, Robbinsville, North Carolina. And looks like it's going to be a perfect riding day today, so we shall see. What kind of stuff we can find just hitting the back roads. All right. All right, looks like we found a perfect campsite right here on Sardis Lake. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. It's Saturday, it's uh, 3.40 my time, but 4.40 Eastern time. We're about eight miles from uh, the Simple Life Campground in Robbinsville, North Carolina, coming up on 129. It's been a good ride, beautiful, take back roads. Uh, it's not Colorado, but it's beautiful though. It's uh, and the temperature all day. It got a little warm around Chattanooga, but right now it's about 75 degrees. Uh, just perfect. No winds. It's been a real pretty ride. Look at that. Is that me? It's two twins. <laughs> Well, they haven't shown the campground yet. It's simple life, but uh, it's really nice. Nice trees, uh, covered parking for my motorcycle. Uh, they made, you know, let me use two trees for my hammock. So let me show you. There's my hammock. And it worked out really good, but you just going up this hill. It's just one road. There's cabins and stuff. There's Keith's cabin down there, and Kyle's is up the hill a little bit. And then you just come up here. There's the main office and showers and bathrooms. And, and it's right up the hill. Lots of cabins. All right, now we're entering Tennessee. We're on the Dragon right now. This is Kyle in front of me. I got Keith in front of Kyle. Cody's in front of Keith. And then David's in front of Cody. So there's five of us. We're going to do Dill's Gap. Well, we're doing the Dragon right now. We're going to go to Teleco Plains, then ride the uh, Cherry Hollow Skyway back across. That'll be our loop for today. Uh, yesterday we did the uh, Blue Ridge Parkway from uh, Bryce City to. Asheville, got a hamburger in Asheville, then did the highway back. But yeah, it's just a beautiful day, it's about 65 degrees, and uh, have a good time. Beautiful roads to ride on, this is really beautiful. Alright, we got cleared up behind the RV, now we got Keith up here, and Kyle. Keith's from Marble Falls, Texas, and then Kyle's from uh, Rockingham, Virginia, or something like that. This is Virginia. He's living in Texas. 
Uh, we came up here to see Kyle, spent some time with him, so he's having a good time on the NC750. Love that little bike. It's a great motorcycle. Keith's on the 2020 twin like mine. And these things just eating these curves up. Up here on a Monday, so that's why there's not a gazillion people here. Ball River Falls off the Cherry Hola. There's Keith, Cody, and David. And Kyle's back there somewhere. Pretty spectacular. Pretty nice. This is Cody. Cody, how's the warm-up ride? That was awesome this morning. Is this bad? Is it better than riding in Fort Worth? Uh, just a little. Bit. Just a little bit. <laughs> This is Keith from Marble Falls. How was the warm-up ride? How was what? The warm-up ride. The warm-up ride. It was nice. Uh, what this is, is, who is that? This is Kyle from Virginia. Hey, I, I'm the intelligent one among the group. The rest of these guys are Neanderthals. How was the warm-up ride? Uh, it was very good. I'm tempted to say something uh, 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 salacious, but I'll save that for later. Hey, David. <laughs> How was the warm-up ride? It was good. It was good. Did you I'm, fall, I'm ready did, to get did, the real did, stuff. Did though. you fall down? Only six times. All right, good. One less than you. All right.
today is Thursday, September 15th, I think. And we left uh, Robbinsville, North Carolina, yesterday about 8 o'clock in the morning. And we got to uh, Pine Bluff, Arkansas, which is a little bit over 600 miles. Got there about 7.30 last night, camped at the Hampton Inn, and caught up some work stuff, things like that. And then uh, Keith went back to Marble Falls this morning, left about 6 o'clock, and Aaron went back to uh, Graham. So the three of us rode together from Robbinsville to uh, Pine Bluff. And so today I'm going to Queen Willahima State Park for the annual Rich Mountain Rendezvous. It's a benefit that uh, helps the CASA volunteers. It takes care of uh, kids in foster care, you know, make sure their needs are getting met, raise the Christmas presents, things like that. But man, it's just been, yesterday was just a beautiful ride. Just loved every mile of it. Man, it was just the temperature like 85 degrees, 81 degrees. Uh, we had 12 drops of rain in Oxford, Mississippi, and uh, traffic was good. We mostly did it just back. We stayed on the back roads, and it was just a uh, great ride yesterday. Just enjoyed every mile of it. And so tonight I'm going to camp up here on the Rich Mountain, and then in the morning head back to uh, Fort Worth. I got an engagement I got to go to. My, me and my family has to go to uh, Friday night. So, uh, but yeah, so got about 91 degrees a while ago. Now it's down about 82 up here on the mountain, which is really nice. So I uh, spent the week in my haven hammock, and it was very comfortable every night. So, I mean, I slept like eight, nine hours every night. Uh, it was just really, really nice. Temperatures got down to the 50s, so it was just really a really nice experience. And I uh, did have a little rip in the Haven hammock, and uh, the owner was, quick. I sent him a picture of it, and said, hey, we got some more work to do, and he uh, overnighted me out a new hammock. So, yeah, they're really trying to make this thing right. It's just got, it's got some bugs to work out, and, but man, it just sleeps great. I mean, that part, the, the main function of it is just phenomenal. And I uh, still like my war bonnet, war bonnet because uh, it's really good for just relaxing. Uh, the Haven tent is more for sleeping. So that's the, really the, the two big differences. And uh, yes, yeah, so coming up here on the state park. And there's two trees up here that I grab every year. To hang my hammock in, so we'll make sure those aren't taken. Recording. All right, Queen Willahima State Park. <clears throat> right around the corner. Check the radar, no rain anywhere in this area. And it looks like it's going to get down to the upper 50s tonight. So should be some good sleeping weather. Most people arrive on Friday for this thing. So I know uh, Aaron and Cody, they, they, they're trailing their bikes from Robbinsville. So they got here late last night. Looks like my trees are available, so that's good. Yep, no one's in my trees.
I'm set up here at the Queen Wilhelma Lodge. And got the haven set up. And it's gonna be a beautiful night tonight. Recording. Today is Saturday, September 16th, I think. Spent the night at Queen Wilhelm State Park, hung out with my friends at the uh, Casa Rich Mountain Rendezvous. Down about the low 60s, it was just perfect. Had a nice breeze, kept the moisture away. Nice, uh, slept like a baby. And since I'm heading home today, after being gone a week, and total trip's probably gonna be about uh, close to 2,800 miles. And uh, this weather's been perfect, good friends, good riding. And uh, yeah, so I think I'll, uh, unless I see something interesting. Right now I'm on the uh, Talamina Parkway. So yeah, all in all, good trip.